Now tonight's first quick comment, and yes, the Republicans are absolutely right. The Supreme Court's Citizens United ruling was only about free speech, not about enabling a full corporate takeover of our elections. That's why the K&L Gates lobbying firm has already compiled a 1,639-word guide for its corporate clients on how they can now advertise for or against individual candidates right up to Election Day and avoid the pesky risk of, quote, public scrutiny by washing their campaign advertising money through third third-party organizations. TPM Muckraker dug this up, but it's on the firm's own website. Part of it reads, groups of corporations within an industry may form coalitions or use existing trade associations to support candidates favorable to policy positions that affect the group as a whole. While corporations that contribute to these expenditures might still be disclosed, this indirect approach can provide sufficient cover such that no single contributing entity receives the bulk of public scrutiny. To get even more, quote, under the radar, k l Gates advises its clients to spend on ideologically based talk radio, web-based ads, or phone banks. And it reassures them that the Supreme Court ruling permits campaigning by American firms that are subsidiaries of foreign corporations. So the court's ruling doesn't open up Pandora's box with the big boys to buy the elections. I was wrong about that. It opens up Pandora's box with the big boys to buy the elections secretly.